Welcome back, losers. I hope you all missed me. For the first time on this channel, Donald is getting the introduction wrong. Today is for Five Nights at Freddy's second installment. Fuck me in the eye. That's an unbelievable miss. Spending too much time with a cocaine addict will definitely reflect on you sooner or later. I do not make the rules. I only report them. Screw you and whatever rule you are talking about. I haven't even seen or spoken to Donald in a while. Did anyone mention Joe Biden's name so far? Okay, guys, enough of the rubbish chatters you started this video with. Let's listen to the phone guy. Wait, how? Did he miraculously come back to life? Or is this game just a poorly written script? I mean, we all believed he was dead from the last episode. Well, because we believe doesn't mean it is true. Yeah, Baraki is absolutely right so apparently he didn't die perhaps he got scared off and disappeared safe to say he is a big ugly coward while we are the heroes so what right does he have to share instructions with us then Trump has a very valid point but I think we should give this phone guy listening ears for a minute we are new in this part and he might have very valuable information for us let's not get too comfortable yeah I knew I said that but somehow this guy's speech is unusually too long this time Thanks to our conversation, I might have as well slept off on this call. He is speaking more than he should, I think, perhaps because he is excited to know we made it thus far. But then, away from that, Joe, you aren't nicknamed Sleeping Old Joe for fun. Man, you can sleep anywhere and anytime. So do not use the long and boring call as an excuse. If you need a minute to take a nap off this call, you can as well do. I promise the viewers won't be mad. Mad? I bet they wouldn't even notice his absence. Beyond being a hypocritical bastard who loves to show off, Joe Biden doesn't have any other relevance on this channel. Left to me, he can go to hell for all I care. Hmm, I think the viewers may have a different opinion. Do you even read through the comments of our videos after we publish them at all? Bro, I have more pressing issues to handle than you do. I should check it out one of these days anyway. Guys, this phone man has dropped the call since, and none of us even noticed. I did notice, and if you must know, I filtered your noisy conversations to listen attentively to what he has to say. Trump was right. He shared very valuable information that could help us as we progress into the night. But sadly, Donald is more of a talker and not a doer. I hope you get what I mean. Fuck you and whatever opinion you have of me. To me, you are just a piece of shit waiting to be flushed down my toilet and someone who would pee his pants seeing some animatronics. Isn't that similar to bringing a bazooka to a sword fight? Well, on this battlefield, stray bullets can hit anyone. I'll suggest you shut your trap or cautiously guard the nonsense you say so they won't be the cause of your misfortune. Donald getting into his emotions has been and will forever be a gory sight. Why do you think threatening your fellow U.S. presidents is one brilliant way to establish your power or relevance or whatever you think you're trying to assert? Paying attention to Donald is synonymous with exposing chaff to the wind, an absolute waste of time and energy. Do you think he is called Grumpy Trump for fun? You know, there is something I love about this game. Of course, it is horrific and scares us to our pants, but we have devised a way to shake off the fear attached to the game. I mean, I don't know if this is intentional or if it just happens. Well, you have a point, but I am still scared, man. Why do you think I'm not going first? Obama hasn't been so bad since the start of the night. Or, Baraki, do you have any cheat sheet with you over there? Are there even cheats to this game? Definitely, there will be. I mean, what is on this planet that cannot be tweaked? I don't think there is any. Well, none that I know of. Bushy, what about you? Ah, uh, that was a bait, and you fell right for it, old Joe. The only thing the citizens protect with their might and think cannot be rigged is the general elections. Guess who wrote and implemented its cheat codes? Well, we all know. Don't be ridiculous, Orangehead. Election rigging didn't start with you and Joe Biden, and as Biden has mentioned repeatedly on this channel, it may be time for you to move on. Really, perhaps to focus on the next general elections, and that would be even if you are qualified to contest while well, you have your life to live. Even though it is just a short while that remains, you know what I mean. Away from the side talks, let's focus on the focus. What's up with you and the animatronics, Baraki? You know, when we started this night, it was all going nice and well, but now I think I agree with Bushy Wushy's conspiracy theory that our conversations help us go far in the game. I mean, since we decided to focus on these animatronics squarely and reduce the chit-chats, I have been struggling to survive. Makes me feel like these guys are listening to us. Hmm, but can that be possible? I think the better theory is that our chit chat makes us forget our fears and focus only on the strategy to win. Bush's explanation is more plausible. Hmm, so are you saying you are losing control of the- Fuck! <laughs> Apparently I have lost control. Does this not make me equal to Bushy who also lost the first night of the first installment? But fuck, I had just one hour to go. That's bullshit. Ha 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 ha. This life has a very funny way of catching up with us as humans. This is a lesson, old young man. Do not mock who is down, because to fall is as easy as a whore spreading her legs to the highest bidder. That brings a memory, a very sweet memory. But, you know, spilling beans may land us matrimonial problems. Only you, Donald, know what you are saying. 
Anyway, let's turn our attention to Bushy now. He is facing his fears already. Oh no, don't do that, Biden. Don't jinx it. Let's just continue flowing with the conversation until it is 6 a.m. I haven't won any night, remember? Bush sounded like a baby mama deprived of attention just now. Well, you're mistaken, because judging by my current knowledge, I may be better than any of you. You say what, Bushy? Ha 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 ha. Oh my God. Bushy, stop the gloating already and just crash out like you used to do so the next player can clean the mess for both of us. Obama never learns, but I understand he is the most youthful amongst us. And I am pretty sure we are all aware of how youthful exuberance can be very deadly. Away from the war of words between Bushy and Baraki, guys, who else have noticed that the settings of this part two are far better than the first? Is that supposed to be surprising, Donald? I mean, it is an upgraded version. So weren't you expecting a better interface? Well, not as much as this one. I think away from the aesthetics, I have noticed that the energy bar isn't dropping as fast as the godforsaken one we had in part one. Bush said, godforsaken, what the fuck? Man has been traumatized beyond limits. Well, the first upgrade is that the interface is no longer office looking. Instead of an office, we now have a pizzeria. So technically we are preventing the animatronics from entering into the pizza or what the fuck did you just call it? Yeah, exactly, pizza blockhead. Do you mean nothing else is inside that big fat orangey head apart from junk and sexually insulting remarks? Well, just like your thoughts are also filled with cocaine and maybe a sprinkle of innocent children that you wish could grace your bed every night. Okay, this is getting out of hand. This channel is supposedly rated PG, guys. Remember that. Trump, it is pronounced pizzeria. Okay, got that now. I think understanding the backstory of this part two would make everything clearer and even the game more exciting to play. Backstory? Hmm. Perhaps I share the backstory so you will know just how much I now know and how I plan to whoop all of you in the ass in this game. That is definitely coming from a place of confidence. Bushy, what do you have for us? This is pretty exciting. The game is taking an unexpected turn with old sideline Bushy Wushy taking complete charge. I would love to see and hear what you know, Bushy. Maybe a bit, you know, at least to shut that robotic moron disguised as a human up. Maybe for life, except when he needs to talk to Michelle, of course. That innocent, pretty lady also doesn't deserve to suffer for his dumbness. Donald, you have stuck your tongue out a bit too much now. Don't pretend you didn't stick yours out longer exploring Michelle's glory hole. A lot of words, Donald. So, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's Part 2 is premised on a family-friendly restaurant, just like the Part 1. Although, like Joe Biden mentioned, this time we aren't guarding the office, but the pizzeria. Before you proceed with your tales, don't forget you're also playing. More importantly, remember you are yet to win any round. I can eat and talk at the same time. I am 77 already, but trust me, my multitasking skills are still top notch. I wish the oldest man on this call could say the same, but it is understandable. Man is just waiting for this to end so he can catch a bit of sleep. You are an irredeemably stupid Oompa Loompa, Donald. Away from Bush's emergence, I am literally the one who knows the lore of this game the most. So what the fuck are you talking about? Because it is a family-friendly restaurant, kids and their parents love to come around during the day to have so much fun watching these stupid animatronics sing and dance for them. Wait, what? Do you mean these robots can actually be friendly? Well, yeah, but for reasons I will never understand, they get so aggressive during the night lynching just anyone that comes their way. So technically, our job is to protect the pizzeria during the night because these guys would always roam. I mean, there is no point in emphasizing that. We are testimonies of how dangerous these robots can be. Bushy, you are done, yeah? Joe, can you corroborate this story? Doesn't sound believable to me, to be honest. Hmm. Obama is hell-bent on making Bushy appear like a dullard. The manhunt is real. I am actually speechless. Bush is very correct, very. The backstory is true and unfiltered. Uh, where did you get the details from, Bushy Wushy? Just like everyone else who knows the lore of the game, I did some research and dedicated multiple nights to learning about the lore. I mean, I embarrassed myself in the first part. I owe it to you all to do better, especially so the viewers won't give up on me yet. I am equally mesmerized, honestly, and you know... Well, you can save your defeat speech for later, but this time Bushy has helped us scale through the night. Amazing. Well, although the first night isn't that difficult, Bushy is sure to complete night one. I feel like a high school kid winning a surprise award on valedictory right now. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway, guys, see you on night two. I love that I now have a partner who knows just as much as I do. Another night watching robots as they room across Pretoria. Pizzeria, Donald. Pizzeria, where on earth is Pretoria? That is South Africa, Biden. Do you even know anywhere else beyond the United States of America and maybe wherever war springs out? Two things are happening right now. First, Obama has finally found his voice after I put him in this place last night. Secondly, how ironic is it that Obama-rama is accusing Joe Biden of being a war promoter? Very iconic, ha 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 ha. Obama, who cannot live a completely free life because he still answers to the FBI for the damage he wreaked in the Middle East. The whole world already knows thanks to your leaking and ever loquacious mouth. So can we at least hear what the phone man has to say tonight? 
But really, do we have to deal with this guy's croaky voice every night? Man, it sounds like he is under a spell or something. And for this second part, his calls have been unusually longer than they used to be. Tonight is surely tougher than last night. I am pretty sure Bushy knows this already and is adequately prepared. I think I need to make this very clear. I am not Joe Biden, so I wouldn't pretend to be all-knowing. Five Nights at Freddy's is a game just like everything else. You either win or lose, regardless of your knowledge of the game. More importantly, I only know the lore of the game to a considerable extent, not as if I have played this game all my life. So what are you driving at, Bushy Bushy? My point is straightforward. Lower your expectations. It is a game, and I can also lose. I mean, I literally just won my first night ever. So, yeah, I hope you get the point. You know, basically, this goes in two ways. I can either thrash talk Bushy for being a coward and riding on beginner's luck, or I can go the other way against Biden. I would choose to show how gullible that cocaine addict is. How did I suddenly come into the mix again this time? Do you see how noble Bush sounded? He didn't make himself an emergency lecturer for a game he is a relatively newbie at. Well, Donald, while I understand your point, I don't think Joe Biden is exactly guilty. We suggested that he teach us the game, not that he imposed himself on us, remember? I'm glad you chose to speak the truth and have my back, Baraki. Grumpy Trump is certainly becoming unbearable. Should you call and I refuse to come on board, then trust me, it is because I have had enough of the smelly nitwit. Who has noticed how poorly fed these animatronics look this time around? Poorly fed, robots cannot eat, so I think your choice of words is inappropriate or something. But you understand what I am saying, right? Don't be an intentional moron, Obama-rama. I think they were simply redesigned to fit the lore of the game. Each robot now has withered or something of that nature behind their names. Something around withered Bonnie, withered Chica, and so on. Bush, that's correct, yeah? I think you are mixing it up, Joe Biden. They have the suffix toys and not withered. And yes, they are much different from the animatronics we faced in the first part. Those ones have been dismantled and sent to the service room to be used, maybe later in the game. We really can't say what the developers are up to. But can someone explain why we have to wear that mask that looks like Freddy's head? I mean, I had to wear it last night, too, while I was playing. I see you have worn it a few times tonight, too, Bushy. You took that right out of my mouth. I was about to ask, too, but I wasn't exactly sure which of the mascots' head that was. To be honest, I wanted to say Bonnie. Maybe because you are having a boner watching the animatronics roam around the pizzeria. How does that even relate to what we are currently saying? How? Swear with your big decomposing ass that you are not having a boner at the moment. Kids watch this channel, too, Biden. You can wait until we play lewdly to use those slur remarks, I promise you. It is not too far from now. We have just five nights left on part two and about two more parts, if I am not mistaken. Can we forget about sleeping Joe for a minute and not lose the answer to the question? Uh, we definitely cannot push Joe's knowledge aside. He just has to be in the picture. So Joe, why are we wearing Freddy's head? In part one of the game, we are doomed whenever any of the animatronics find their way into the office. Yeah, right. But now we have a bit of leverage with this head. These robots are like Donald. They do not have a complete brain. So technically, whenever they find a way to enter into this place, the player can wear Freddy's head to fool the animatronics and prevent it from attacking. That's all I think there is to the mask. It is just a leverage. Thank you for clarifying, Biden, but I strongly believe you can make the message very clear without having to take Donald to the cleaners. That was very unnecessary. I agree, it was not necessary one bit. Yeah, get off that high horse of yours, you walking corpse of a man. Everything is fair in love and war. You should know this, Donald. Jeez, is anyone at war here? Exactly that's what you get for pretending to be the expert. You're back to beginner's luck. The magic has faded, and now you are leaving the honors to me again? Bush literally gave a disclaimer. Don't be intentionally stupid, Obama. We understand you are pained not to have known as much as Bush does, but you need to admit that he has put immense effort into getting to this stage. And actually, I will go next, remember? True, man was literally fidgeting throughout the first round, and now he has turned it around for himself. Truly, I am less scared now, but there are certainly more strategies to learn about this game. It makes you look like a dull dummy. That may be too soon to conclude. We have just had two players so far, Bush and me. Joe is just starting to, so let's see how far he will go. Thank you for gassing me up, Obama. Don't make it appear like the rest of us are unintelligent. At least we are getting better and better. Well, Obama got worse. Keep up with it until you lose your next night, and we can confirm that you too are a fluke. By the way, why is this phone man talking again? This is another testament that our conspiracy theory about this game following a pattern is entirely wrong. The call wasn't repeated when Obama lost the first night and Bush took over. Now we have a repeat call with the programmed voice literally saying the same thing. Maybe it figured that we didn't pay more attention to him when Bush was playing earlier, so 
He also wants a bit of attention to be sure we heard him correctly. I don't really want to know whatever he has to say. It's not like he is sharing some strategies or anything about that. I don't know if anyone has noticed, but about two more animatronics are out tonight. So we have a total of at least six robots to keep watch over and prevent from entering the pizzeria. How are we supposed to survive? Uh, on the contrary, I think it is relatively easy once we know what we're up against. So far since 12 a.m., I have focused primarily on Price Corner. Also, the flashlights are very important. It keeps the animatronics away for a minute. At this point, I think Joe Biden and Bush are doing just too much. We had just Biden to deal with before, and now Bush has joined him. I thought you were supporting Bushy Wushy just last night. What has happened? Shush, guys, be quiet. Perfect. Now there's a blue toy trying to tear our head apart. I think he's gone now, so what were you saying? I think knowing and understanding the lore of the game is sacrosanct to winning and having a great gaming experience. You guys have gotten really high. Two old men so keen with the scary kids game. You just need to learn the game more. Same for you, Trump. Why would I want to learn what would keep me off my bed at night? Has any of you actually imagined what Freddy or Foxy would look like in your dream? I bet it is worse than Biden's rotting face. That is for people who see me in their dreams, so I care less. I mean, why would you want to stress me in your dream after all the burden I carry on my shoulders as the president of the United States during the day? Ha 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 ha, good one. Biden has a point, a valid one at that. Undoubtedly, the energy ratings in this game have improved much, but the little left at just 4 a.m. isn't encouraging, Biden. Did you do something that exhausted the power? I have everything under control. I know the next two hours are very critical, so how about you let me focus on the game? Remember what focusing on the game cost Obama? Let's see how it ends for you, too. That is why we are very different, Grumpy Trump. Emphasis on the very least. I mean, no harm. I was just trying to make you see reasons not to say you want to focus on the game. I am 100% sure these animatronics can hear us. Humpty Dumpty, these robots cannot hear shit. Moreover, the only reason I need and know is to help us all stay alive until 6 a.m. And I have about an hour and a half to do that. How about we spice things up a little bit like we did with Wordle while we still played it very consistently? What are you suggesting, Obama? Maybe we introduce incentives or penalties for winners and losers. I mean, you still remember how exciting it was for the viewers back then, yeah? I bet Joe Biden cannot remember shit. His dementia has grown worse than we can ever imagine. The old man is just waiting patiently for death to snatch him away. Let's not lose the focus and focus on some irrelevant talks from a bottle donkey. It's almost 6 a.m., which means we would round off soon. So what are we saying, a penalty or a reward? I think penalties would be better. It would help us play the game better and more seriously. I share the same bias with Bushy Wushy. We need just one more vote and we have it. How about we leave the viewers to decide for us, you inconsiderate morons? You make it look like it is all about you, when in reality, they are the reason we jump on a call every day playing games, both the ones we all enjoy and those we hate like shit, just like this one. You may be right, but I now enjoy Five Nights at Freddy's, so I really do not know what you are talking about. In that case, guys, what do you suggest? A penalty or a reward? We'll be reading the comments to know which team gets the highest votes. Ha 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 Now we are turning the comments into a fucking polling center. I hope Biden doesn't influence the results anyway. Gentlemen, we have now safely gotten to our 6 a.m. destination and saved the pizzeria from an animatronic attack. It's Pretoria. Pizzeria, you dung-eating, unrepentant nincompoop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the house of self-orchestrated doom. Is there any lady on this call? Obama, did you invite Michelle? Trumpy is just being a bully that he is. You should know that already. So what are we doing tonight? I almost slept off already. Nothing more than I am continuing my winning streak or anything else. Maybe Donald kissing my ass one more time. I think we should calmly listen to the phone man this time. The third night is a whole new difficulty level we wouldn't want to joke with, in my opinion. Stop taking the game too seriously, Bushy Wushy. Your enthusiasm makes it look more than a game we play for leisure. Or are you guys getting rewarded somewhere else without letting me know? Listen to the phone, man, Donald. I need to make an important announcement so everybody listen up. What is it this time, Donnie? Last night we asked the viewers whether we do punishments or rewards, and we had mixed comments. So at the end of the game, we will decide a punishment or reward for someone for the next night. Donnie, that does not make sense. If more than one person lose, who gets the punishment then? It's the person who died first, you bozo. Luckily, I have trained for this and understood the lore of the game. In that case, Obama is doomed. Bushy, when I do try hard mode, you will watch me cook. Does anyone else find it weird that a retired president is using the slang word cook? I don't care, Trumpy. I am listening to the phone man, so I don't lose this round, you pumpkin. Geez, you guys are so boring. Focus, Donnie. You don't want to make a fun of yourself later. Man, we have been listening for more than an hour. It is 1 a.m. already, and this motherfucker doesn't look like he is stopping anytime soon. The whole essence of the game is getting defeated then. 
I think we come here to hang out, not to listen to some messed up lecture from an incoherent speaker. Not gonna lie, I was tired of the call too. If you only, you two could wait for a minute more, see? He is done. And indeed, he shared stuff that could help us scale through. Although I don't think any of us here is as good a player to win tonight, but let's find out. This egoistic bastard is rapidly becoming worse than Joe Biden. We know you are now so knowledgeable about the game Bushy Wushy. Please allow us some breathing space and let's just enjoy the flow. Stop making it look like we are in a classroom or something. Trump is obviously frustrated. Is it because he hates the game or do the animatronics look like him or is Bushy pointing his flaws straight at his face? The possibilities are limitless. Biden, are you here, Biden? What the fuck? This demented, cocaine-sniffing asshole has fallen off his desk and zoned to the afterworld yet again. Guess he's losing first. Can someone wake him up already? This is ridiculous. Ha 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 ha. See who we trusted our lives to carry us until 6 a.m. Can someone wake him up already? Say this one more time and I will order drone strikes to your apartment. You can do us the favor if you need to. Biden, Biden, not- Oh my goodness. This equally old fart has turned this into a screaming competition. But to be honest, this is terrible. I mean, we are literally at the mercy of these guys. It's almost 2 a.m. and this game has been on autopilot. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Biden! Better not break your fragile vocal cord, Bushy Wushy. Biden should wake up soon. Or maybe we should call Jill to help wake him up. Don't disturb the innocent woman who is probably catching up with her grandkids. It's not worth it to wake up a dementia-stricken old fart. Mama mia. I guess he is back. My screams worked, apparently. Hey, hey guys, I didn't know how it happened. I just, I just found myself face flat on the floor. I know what happened, Biden. You snorted too much cocaine during the day, added a handful to your dinner, and your body couldn't take it any longer and decided to punish you by banging your face on the tiled floor. Now you have a broken nose, a swollen face, and more than 10,000 viewers to apologize to. Trust Trump to blow things out of proportion. Anyway, Biden, can we return our focus to the game this minute, or do we risk getting ambushed by any of the animatronics? I'm so sorry, guys. I had a tough day today and couldn't save myself from sleeping off. We understand, old fool. Get to it already. Okie, okay, where are we? You have lost half the power when you were asleep. I reckon check the cameras, Joe. Okay, so all animatronics are now active, and let me see, where is Bonnie? Bonnie is deep up your ass, Joe Biden. Shut your stupid mother friggin' mouth, fat pumpkin. Timeless rivalry between Trump and Biden. I think it is now too late to do anything. Bonnie is just behind us waiting to at okay <laughs> okay i would definitely won if i didn't fall asleep i knew that was coming joe trump you are next and before you complain about name calling like you always do like a crybaby remember that we all need to call our names routinely now on this call before another person dozes off like biden for my records only joe biden is struggling with dementia do you think he is called old sleeping joe for fun let's just keep our heads in the game remember what the phone man said earlier Tonight would be tougher with many gimmicks from the animatronics. The only trick we have up our sleeves is to keep them away or wear Freddy's head to fool them. To be honest, only you listened to that loquacious man, Biden, who could have seconded you, unfortunately slept off. So, yeah, thank you for summarizing all that he said for almost two hours. Guys, do we now have a conclusion on whether we will be working with rewards or penalties? I love that you admit to being the first culprit or maybe victim. Saying the two sounds even better. Ha 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 ha. Penalties had more votes, so automatically we should be going with that. I love this part. Ha 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 ha. So what is Joe Biden's first punishment? Since we do not know how many more people will lose tonight before we scale through, why not? Let's leave the judgment to the ending part of the video. What do you think? Brilliant suggestion, I agree with that too. I hope Trump fails so we go through the mockery together. No one can mock me, Biden. One, I have never pretended to be the dawn of five nights at Freddy's. Secondly, I am obviously as clueless as everyone on this call, apart from the new knowledge tank, Bushy Wushy. So just quietly shut your trap, sit on your potty, and shit your intestines out while you await what your penalty for putting all of us in danger would be. Putting a 30 inch long hot rod into your anus shouldn't be a bad suggestion anyway. That is criminal and we aren't known to undertake criminal activities on this channel, that punishment is too far. Ever heard of corporal punishment, Obama? Does that phrase not ring a bell? While you engage in your war of words, I suggest you shut the left vent throughout the night. Although we haven't had much to deal with Foxy since the first night, he is usually more active tonight and attacks from the left. You don't want to leave yourself to chance. But Freddie would attack from the right very suddenly too. He caught Obama, you and me, since the start of this episode. Left, left, right, right, which side should I shut? Shutting the left vent doesn't consume as much power as closing the right, so I will recommend preventing Foxy first above every other thing. What about we keep both vents shut? <laughs> How much more of a blockhead can you become? Of course, your energy would run out faster than your breath when your fat ass is running. 
That is as good as putting yourself to the sword. You know what? Can either of you just calmly explain the various strategies to survive tonight? If Trumpy loses by chance, which is very likely, I am next one up. But as you know from the last game, I was still clueless. So someone explain to me. Perfect. Then I'm less afraid of losing. Let me break the lore of tonight down. Isn't it too late for me to catch up? All the animatronics are now active. Save yourself the stress, Donald. Chica is inside already. What do you mean? How did you see that? I have my own logic, Trumpy. Oh no, yep, I see it. Chica is inside the room. Will this mask not save me? <laughs> Jeez, you overgrown, radioactive, fat, ugly eyeballs. What's wrong with Chica's face this time? The worry was Foxy or Freddy, but Chica is taking us all by surprise. I have actually never seen Chica this furious and aggressive. We must be joking if we think we can handle these guys up to the seventh night. You can pretend to fall asleep too. Who knows, maybe that was Joe's strategy. Who really knows? Welcome to the third attempt at completing the third night and five nights at Freddy's part two. Okay, that sounds like a proper introduction, unlike the nonsense we have to settle with from Donald. Do you know how unsettling it is to deal with you getting the introduction wrong every single time? Ask Obama how many viewers we almost lost because of your never learning, strong-headed, idiotic Self. He has been doing great compared to before since we began this game anyway. So can we get to the strategies now or do you want to wait till I get mauled before you explain Bushy, Biden? I really don't know where to start from, but honestly, the tricks and gameplay are pretty much the same as the first part of the game. In my opinion, the only change is how aggressive the animatronics are and the newly introduced ones, which have been quiet and uneventful so far. That's true to a considerable extent. Freddy still laughs and follows the same route as in the first part, from the show stage to the restroom to the kitchen, the East Hall, and then into where we are presently. But the show stage has now been changed to Prize Corner. All these are theories that cannot take us anywhere. What exactly am I to do? Baraki, the sooner you realize that these two are imposters who met behind our backs and decided to play with our heads to appear better in the game, the better it would be for you to bring down your hopes. First Obama-rama, you need to eliminate distractions like Donald who couldn't succeed and cannot stand another person achieving that success. Ha 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 ha, so true. You need to continuously keep an eye on Freddy to make him somewhat powerless. If you do not take your eyes off him, trust me, he would be too scared to move. Remember, we did the same thing in the first part of the game, and we succeeded. The only hard part is that he is now more aggressive, which means he would require more looking. I've been doing that, and if you check through the camera, Freddy is still at the prize corner. Well, it is still kind of too early in the night to say you have been doing a... Fuck, is that friggin' Bonnie in the friggin' office? Oh, oh, you're dead meat, Obama. <laughs> Fuck, I hate this game. Why is it so hard for Frick's sakes? You just need to study the game a bit more, Obama, and know the characteristics of animatronics. This purple, stricken-looking psycho right here is actually ridiculous. It looks more like a premeditated attack. I'm utterly speechless. You guys intentionally set me up to fail. And that is all the meaning I can get from what just happened. But, uh, yeah, it is a game. Let's just forge ahead and get tonight done with. Bush? I never expected something as fast and crazy as that, but I guess it happens. I will say it time and time again. Joe Biden and Bushy Wushy have rigged this game in their favor. Tell me why the supposedly aggressive animatronics are suddenly very calm when they are playing. But when it is our turn to play, they remember they must attack. I mean, Joe Biden literally slept off while playing the game, and none of the robots attacked until more than an hour later. That would never make sense to me. I just want to believe they are doing something right that we aren't. Bushy, for example, was also terrible in this game until he became knowledgeable. Maybe we understand the gameplay first properly and see if things would work in our favor. So typical of you to be the devil's advocate. And don't forget Obama Rama the Lama. You lost the fastest, so you're getting the punishment. Donald, you just need to keep the animatronics far from where where we are. And to do that, each robot has its various requirements. Just like Bushy was saying before Obama got attacked, you need to watch Freddy continuously to prevent him from leaving the prize corner and start roaming around the pizzeria. We've heard enough about Freddy, although that didn't mean he won't attack us again. But what about the others? Toy Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy. So what I am doing now to keep Foxy away is endlessly gazing the touch lights on the private cove. Doing that slows his movement down. I have also shut the left vent because Foxy this sounds so easy and straightforward until you remember that these guys have also lost their respective rounds, especially that fraudulent Joe Biden. Bush, can you proceed, please? It is 3 a.m. already and trouble still seems very far from your sanctuary. I guess it is called a sanctuary for a reason. <laughs> sanctuary? I thought it was Pretoria or some other stupid word that starts with P. Sanctuary in this context is figurative, dummy. Didn't you finish high school? 
or did you pay your way through too? I am not Joe Biden, the accidental president of the United States. Speaking of Biden, I haven't heard him speak in the last half an hour. Don't tell me you have slept again. Man, with how bad things have become now, Biden might just drop dead any time from now. Things have really gone worse, but the moron doesn't seem to accept it yet. I think we need to begin by helping him quit his cocaine addiction first. We cannot just continue talking without doing. Philosophical Bama, ride on. He has finally gone off the call. Perhaps he didn't sleep, but something went wrong. Try calling him back, Obama-rama. Hey, guys. I don't know what went wrong. I tried speaking multiple times, but you just couldn't hear me. I had to go off to fix my microphone. Well, Trumpy, I think this is the part where you apologize to Biden for misjudging him. I might have misjudged, but I'm definitely not wrong. His dementia has gotten worse over the last few weeks. Perhaps because we keep him up late at night might be a part of the reason, too. Bushy, how's it going? We can get back to that much later. I think the final piece of the puzzle is checking on Bonnie and Chica. However, it is harder than keeping up with Foxy and Freddy because of how much power they can drain if you check on them too much. So instead of checking on them with the camera, you can use the hall lights. That saves more power. But come on, Bushy Wushy, it is 4 a.m. already and your power is almost at zero. Why aren't you actively practicing what you preach? Again, I would repeat myself. The sooner you realize these guys are imposters who just want to have a say, the better it will be for you. Things aren't looking exactly nice, Bushy. This might be the first time we all are failing a single round. Record-breaking feats that our viewers are probably laughing their asses out in mockery right now. Can we just abandon this game and move to the one we are pretty sure we can handle better? Don't be pessimistic, guys. I have this under control. Even if the lights go off, I can still find my way through until 6 a.m. With about two more hours to go? I swear I just saw Freddy in the office. I know what I saw. Can you return the camera, please? There is no one here. You are probably hallucinating. I saw it, too. I did, but I'm not sure which of the robots it was. They are probably correct. I just saw Bonnie, too. We have one more hour to go. That is such a long duration. Another fact to support my conspiracy. Why has the flashlight not gone off since? It has been on zero bar for over 25 minutes, but still functions well. Bush is definitely doing something he isn't letting out. Bushy, the cat is suffocating already. Can you let it out of the bag by now? I promise no one will judge you for cheating. I don't even know the developers of the game. How can I glitch when I do not know how to write a single line of code? Did anyone also see Foxy at the door too? I guess we all saw that one. This is definitely not a hallucination. You know, with how confident Bushy was while he was explaining the lore of this game, you would think every night would be an easy ride for him. And that was why I left the disclaimer earlier tonight while Joe was playing. Just because I know the game better than you do doesn't mean I can win easily too. The animatronics scare me as much as they scare you. So what is the fuzz about? Moreover, I have won more rounds than you do so far. Trumpy, shouldn't you be glad someone is finally helping us scale through this tedious round? You are a hypocritical monkey. You literally held Bush by the throat last night too. Ha 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 ha. I do not know why the light didn't go off, but yeah, we have now safely completed the third night. Woo-hoo, I need my beauty sleep. And Obama is getting punished next time we meet for dying the earliest. Damn it. That is going to be interesting. See you tomorrow night, guys. Subscribe. Fuck you for saying that instead of me. The two of you are simply unbelievable. Ayo, ayo, what the fuck is happening to this game? Joe Bush explain. Joe, Joe? Of course you're gone, Bush. Why the fuck are these animatronics staring at me? Hey, Bush, are you here? Fuck's sakes. Obama? What's happening, bro? Uh, ah, I don't want to be here alone. But I'm back to the worst nightmare I have ever had again. Your nightmare always begins with a call from the phone man. I hate to hear that guy speak. His voice is, although not too loud, deafening. Perhaps it is the fear his voice holds that pisses me off. You have a point, but right now we have to just listen. Wait, are we the only ones on this call? Well, we are here. But since you two decided to begin with an unusual bromance, we decided to leave you to it so we do not ruin the moment. Obama-rama took that right out of my mouth. What the fuck? Bromance with who? Old Sleeping Joe? Nah, I would rather feast on my poo for seven straight days than share a relationship with that demented tortoise. I thought you loved me, Donnie. You always try to compete with me for the elections. Biden, the first thing I will do in office is point some nukes to your house. That would be lovely, a painless way to leave planet Earth. Perhaps we leave the two of them to their love turn sour situation and we return our focus to the game particularly what this phone man is saying. It's a repeated speech. I am not interested in listening, to be honest. I wish we had a feature to speed up his words per minute. Well, I think we have no other option than to wait. So have you and Grumpy Trumpy done with your romances? Well, it never left the ground because that old man is a pussy. Language, Donald. It's English, Obama! All right, all right, calm down, bro. 
Pushy Wushy, can you please do us the favor and win this night for us without any of us getting involved? I promise you freshly made barbecue once we are done. Bribery and corruption from the man who supposedly is against rigging elections? I'm glad the world now knows who exactly you are. Maybe you are taking things too far, Biden. Trumpy is just trying to help us here. Bush, I swear I was talking to you and you alone. Let's pretend those Oompa Loompas didn't try to infiltrate into our discussion. Ha ha ha, I wish it were possible, but nothing is assured. As I have mentioned repeatedly, five nights at Freddy's isn't assured for anyone, even if you religiously play by the rules. Bushy, don't overflog it. This game isn't for any coward. Anyone who doesn't have the mind to play can kindly fuck off. Biden, I think you are worried over the wrong things. I don't think anyone can call any of us cowards anymore. It takes great strength to be out here again tonight doing this. Bushy, what do you say? Tonight is a mix of good news and not too good ones. Let's begin with the good news. Why does that sound like we are a bunch of high school kids waiting to hear the results of our A-levels examination? If it is about the animatronics, then Donald, the good news, as Bush called it, is that Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy aren't usually very active on night four, that's all. Can you elaborate on that, Joe? Perhaps we should listen to the bad news to know how to process our emotions. Ha ha ha! Remember, Joe Biden mistook the animatronics for another on the first or second night, I think. Yeah, this is the night when we actually have them, the withered animatronics. And believe me, their names do not do justice to how deadly they can be. A little confession. I have never gotten past this level without a little help, even when playing with my grandkids. Do you really have to bring your grandkids into this? Yes, they are family. There was something we forgot to do from the last episode. You forgot to go to the toilet or something? Or you scream so hard you now have heart problems. No, Obama-rama. People voted on punishments for the losers last night, and you lost the night the quickest. I was hoping you would really forget this. So what's gonna happen to Obama today? I propose, since Obama is the nerdiest, he will put on a robot voice changer for whoever plays next until they die. Even better, do you have the gorilla costume from Wordle? We can put that on Obama. Aha, that's a brilliant idea. Fuck sakes, not that again. I hate you guys for doing this to me. Well, a bet is a bet. I genuinely cannot wait to call Obama-rama a robot man today. It's going to be epic. <laughs> ah! I seriously got distracted with what we will do to Obama. Anyways, who's going next? Biden, it is you. I was just saying I hate to play this night because I never seem to find my way around it. The devil really works in mysterious ways. Let's do this anyway. To be honest, I think the developers of this game really make us handicapped. Anyways, Obama, it's time for you to put on the costume and a robot voice changer until Biden finishes his round. I am not doing that, Trumpy. Yes, Obama, now put that on, bro. I hate you guys so, so much. Biden, please die as soon as possible, please. Ha <laughs> ha, now I will play the best game ever. Now you really are a robot man, Obama-rama. Taking on these bastards one after the other and unloading rounds of magazines into their skulls? At least we know we can now rely on our sniping skills and not have to check through multiple cameras. Damn it! Well, the only person who just got defeated is our honorable Joe Dummy Biden, who couldn't last even up to one hour into the night. Did you just give Biden a middle name? That is unbelievable. You're up next, Obama, and since Joe finished so quick, you need to put that on for your round. Okay, at least take this robotic speaker off me, then we can make a deal. Fine, that sounds good to me. Yep, same here, I agree. Man, that is so much better without that stupid voice. To be honest, I did not even know where that animatronic came out from. A hundred books and a thousand handouts can still not save you from being the absolute failure that you are. I mean, look at Bushy. He learned the lore of the game and improved his gameplay tremendously. I think you have declined awfully. Now it is your turn to prove you are better than Joe Biden. Otherwise, you are only as much hypocritical as you claim he is. Bushy, you were saying something about the new animatronics and how crazily active they get tonight. One of them was the one who attacked me. Joe, would you help out? These guys passing us around like we were in a fucking circus. Uh, I will pretend Trumpy didn't just make a sinful remark and just go ahead with the lore. So technically, as Bushy mentioned, the robots we are used to typically take the back seat tonight. It's not like they aren't there, but they are just less active. The newer animatronics we have to deal with now are Mangle, Balloon Boy, and the Puppet. Sometimes Bonnie can become very aggressive, like the new robots too. This looks like an impossible Herculean task. Guys, I am just messing up this shit myself. This minute, I think I have got the hang of it. The next minute, I do not know what the fuck I am doing. And yeah, that shitty strategy of keeping an eye on Freddy isn't doing shit. Of course, that cannot work for this night. Freddy is almost non-existent, so there is no point wasting your time and energy ratings on him. That's correct. There are bigger issues ahead of us this night. I think Barack you would have to deal with these bigger issues. And for that reason, I'm out. This is the third loss tonight overall. Who else believes we are breaking the record we set last night? 
because unless we want to be deceitful, my chances of winning are very low, too. But wait, Obama-rama, where did things actually go wrong? You weren't this fidgety in the first part of the game. You were almost on the same level as Joe Biden, especially your confidence. What happened? Man, a lot of things. It's pretty hard to wrap my head around the concept of the game. But whatever it is, it gets better, isn't it? I swear we are actually getting worse. At least before, our primary worry was the energy burning out. Now that the light is more stable, things are supposed to get better, yeah? Well, you know the rest. Can someone explain to me why the phone man chose to speak during my turn. I think the developers need to understand that his purpose is defeated already and can be excused from the game. I think the main issue tonight is multitasking. We need to check several cameras and angles almost at the same time. The faster you shut your dirty, smelly trap, the better it becomes for you. You had the chance to implement whatever it is you know and have to say, but guess what you did? You couldn't even last longer than an hour. If I nod you with my fat orange head, I bet your next stop would be in the grave. Trumpy, Biden might have lost tonight, same as almost all of us here. But he actually has a point. There are angrier animatronics out there that we need to check up on simultaneously. And that is the bigger problem. Moreover, these robots can even snatch the monitor away from us while viewing it and attack us immediately. I guess that is where the Freddy's head mask comes in, yeah? It is useless when it gets to that stage. Well, almost useless. These newer guys are faster than we have ever seen in the game. Wait, how did you know that bushy? Do you want to pretend that you do not know what a Google search is? You literally dragged me by my balls the other day for forgetting what Google was. You meant to say I dragged you by your small balls? Emphasis on the small, please. The memories of your leaked nudes are still fresh in my head, and we know how tiny that man down there is. I used to wonder how Jill coped, but after she sent me naughty messages about a fortnight ago, I realized why. Don't say what you do not know, Donald. Swear by your legacy that you haven't had anything to do with Jill. I would be waiting. Allow Obama-rama to focus on the game, guys. Fuck the game, bushy-wushy. Obama, what do you have to say? Tell me that overfed pig is blabbing? What the fuck do I have to say, Biden? Do you think I would cheat on Michelle, even if I would with Jill? Come on, save me from that bullshit and focus your energy on what matters the most. Don't drag me into your dirty games with Donald. I am not a part of that. So, can we get back to the game and finish off? We appreciate everything you have done for us so far, Bushy Wushy. But can you please stop policing us back to the game and let's just enjoy our conversations till we find someone to help us get across to the fifth night. I think there is a way this game arouses your enthusiasm once you have hacked it. You cannot blame Bushy Wushy entirely. But you blame me with every might you had in you fucking bleaching hypocrite? You are my second worst nightmare after this game, of course, and I cannot wait for you to pass out from snorting excessive cocaine and never wake up. At least the world would be rid of one more nuisance. You know, the thing is, when playing the Five Nights at Freddy's, you always need to be on your toes, regardless of what the situation might be. This way you can be well prepared for whatever it is. Then, in that case, I guess I have been standing on my head because I have just let one of the mascots in. I tried, guys, but I am out too. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, sorry I had to laugh. Obama-rama. But your sign-off remark was pretty hilarious. I thought you all said only the newer robots would be active tonight. What? How the fuck was it, Chica? Who attacked me? Because they aren't active doesn't mean they cannot cause any harm. That was what I was trying to point out about multitasking the other time. It is hard to keep up with all of them almost at the same time. That is a messed up reality, really. We do not stand any chance, just like Trump said earlier. We are literally at their mercy. Maybe that is what makes the game very difficult and scary. Trying to escape and survive robots that you are at their mercy. We have just set another record on this channel with this game. This is the first time all of us have lost on the same night, and it is returning to the person who began the night. That is not some pretty exciting record to break anyway. Joe Biden can keep up with the record keeping. Let's hope he doesn't mix it all up too anyway, because I am still struggling to identify what he is actually good at. Well, honestly, I think Biden is relatively good in this game, at least better than all of us. Respectfully, I think he is better than Biden too, and I am sure many of our viewers would agree with me. This isn't a who is better competition. Playing together as a team would bring us closer to our goal more than you think. We cannot afford to mess that chance up because of some unhealthy internal competition. What is that caution sign at the bottom right corner of the screen? I think I saw something similar when Barrack was playing. That's an indication that things can get pretty ugly very soon. We are talking about a zero to 100% kind of ugly. It's just a heads up, technically. Isn't it amazing that Joe Biden seems to remember everything about 
the lore of the game, but nothing else apart from that. That is a lie and just an attempt to score cheap points. I do not know you to stoop so low to catch up with Donald in the game of lows. Are we back here again? Biden, how much is the total budget of the United States for the education sector in 2023? Nah, nah, that is definitely out of scope. Nah, Donald, don't do that. I have no words for you two bullies. The budget breakdown is out there on the media. For everyone to see, you can go check it out yourself. This should be one of the simplest questions you have been asked ever. Do you know it? Yes or no? Stop complicating really simple things. Trumpy, I know if I answer to your question, it will be one of your traps. So I will just get back and try to beat this night. What's more important, answering a super important economical question or playing a horror game, Joe? The most important is to not make a fool of myself in front of you, Trumpy. Nice try, little bro. So this is what four years of additional wisdom does. Wow. Joe's wisdom is sleeping. I'm annoyed how the fuck Joe avoided my question so easily. Well, all things aside, now it's 4 a.m. This is by far the furthest anyone has progressed through tonight. So speaking of punishments and rewards, what should it be for this night? Now that we have it, what are we agreeing upon? I think since we all have lost tonight, I shall get rewarded if I win. And none of you will get punished. Sounds fair enough? I think it is clear enough. Even if you win a hundred times but lose once, you still have to serve the punishment. Donald, rethink and reevaluate your words before concluding, though. Remember, we are probably the ones to suffer the penalties the most because we are yet to have a full grasp of the strategies for each night. Lastly, I think the penalties should be agreed upon per night and not be a one-size-fits-all punishment. The randomness would make it even more fun. What do you think? I agree with that. That is just as we did with Wordle. Yeah, I remember Donald on that funny mask. What mask exactly? I bet your demented soul dare not remember. I think you all need to buy me a new barbecue, and I am the only person who gets to eat something next night while we all play. But I really want to punish Joe Biden since he lost the quickest. I think a baboon mask would do him good. Bush is taking the reward, you fat dumb head. None of us are getting punished. Damn it. Bush, be careful of your energy, bro. You are close to 6 a.m., but anything can happen. Don't worry, boys. I definitely got it. And to Trump, I think Donald would definitely love a jail term. I mean, why the hell is he excited about a punishment? I'm only excited about punishing you, crusty Joe Biden. You stole my term in office, and I'm getting my revenge. Perhaps Trumpy has an ulterior motive no one knows. Ha 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 ha. Well, then in that case, I will play super cautiously upcoming nights because you are probably the worst player here. Speak for yourself, Biden. Who dies in just one hour tonight? That person ain't Donald Trump. Boys, can we not have a civil war between us? We will never scale through night five and six if we fight each other. Absolutely. Bushy has a point. We do need teamwork and the reward or punishment just spice things up. But in the end, we still need to work as a team. We still have three more nights to go anyway. This one goes up to night seven brace for even more impact. But let's hope to scale through tonight first because the energy ratings aren't all convincing. He has done it before. I'm pretty sure he would do it again in bushy wushy we trust. Ha ha ha. Tonight is undoubtedly the toughest we have experienced. These animatronics didn't take it easy on us at all. I am just glad it is all over. We did this, buddies. Heaven knows I didn't do shit tonight. It's safe to say I was just a cheerleader. Nothing more. Ha 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 ha. Trump finally being civil. Welcome back to the hardest night of the game. This is definitely not the best way to begin this video. If we were scared up to our throats, you have just made it shoot up to our eyes. Today can be pretty tough, to be honest. Maybe even more than what Bushy has described. Wait, are you asking us to brace for a bigger impact than we experienced yesterday night? Who? Thinking through our struggles last night, I think our primary issue was that we lacked teamwork. Everyone wanted to prove that they were good on their own. And honestly, it is hard to handle these animatronics single-handedly at this stage of the game especially not old men like us. Biden, no one was competing with you for the crown of the best player. I swear, maybe it was only between you and Bushy Wushy. Definitely not me. How would I... Enough of the back and forth. Can we focus on the call this time, please? Maybe our lack of focus is one of our stumbling stones. Is it not too late now? That guy has been talking since we began this call. We must have missed a lot of vital details if there were any. And I believe we may never get to hear those details again because, of course, this time Bush is the one paddling the canoe. Sinking shouldn't be a probability. Or what do you think, Baraki? I have said it repeatedly. It is not all that easy. At least we have all played the game, too, and we can attest to how difficult it is. Not tonight that all ten animatronics are equally aggressive. Wait, ten? We have ten fucking animatronics to deal with? Actually, yes. We now have the toy robots, withered robots, and the original animatronics. We shouldn't forget the man and the balloon boy too. You guys really set us up for a difficult and excruciating process, especially you, Biden. As I mentioned yesterday night, the fun of this game, per my findings, is in the process and not actually winning it. More importantly, the community it fosters amongst us. Speaking of community, I think the other games we have played and still playing on this channel offer the same, so how is this one any different? Biden, I have lost control of the game, so get ready to take over once any of these animatronics banging on the door get in and attack. Damn, you died so quick, Bushy. Damn.
This night you cannot make a single error. I have seen this script before. Last night you lost first, then we followed suit before you returned to clean the mess you created. I hope we do not have the same scenario this time. I cannot afford to stay on the call for that long. Melania complained bitterly last night. Premeditated disaster. Anyway, let's listen to the phone guy this time, shall we? Definitely. And Trump is actually extremely chatty today. For God's sakes, that was almost a waste of an hour or thereabout. Man was just blabbing about what I think we all know already. I find it very valuable anyway. Biden, were you attentive while I played the game? Sure, I think you weren't too quick to switch the cameras, and that was where the problem began before all the animatronics found their way to the door. I found a solution, although it is already late. The Freddy's head mask can do more magic than we think. What is blood talking about? Obama-rama, that is a Gen Z slang. Who have you been hanging out with? Is Michelle aware of whoever you're hanging out with? Ha 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 ha. You know, I was wondering, why on earth will someone take up this job? Why would you choose to put your life at so much risk for six freaking hours in the middle of the night with little to nothing to protect yourself from robots who do not have a brain to think for themselves? I'm dying to see what the reward for this part two is. Oh, God damn it. Shit, how did you lose so quickly, Biden? I swear, I'm as surprised as you are. I think this game is glitched or something. Do not make excuses, old Joe. You are losing your touch already, and it is normal. We all will do someday, too. That sounded suspicious, Donald. What are you up to? I wasn't going to say anything, but that last statement definitely sounds so unusual. I never seen Trump be this kind to Biden on this channel before. Trump is a waste of fat. He cannot do shit. I am pretty sure of that. Apart from the animatronics sniffing life out of two comrades here, everything has been going perfectly since the start of the night. Trump, I hope you actually win around for us in this series, same as Obama. You know, I hate to always wear that face mask. I think the developers made a mask this ugly on purpose. Is that why your face looks like you got punched by Muhammad Ali? No, guys. The mask's whole purpose was to trick the other animatronics to think we are one of them and actually not a human. It's been five nights and you still don't know. You all are having a field day when your lives are literally in my hands. I can decide to let these disgruntled animatronics in any minute and we all get back to square one. That shouldn't be a threat, Grumpy Trump. One, it isn't our wives who complained last night for spending longer than usual on the call. Secondly, we are all in it together. So can you make it make sense? How did you cleverly turn it all on this head again? Man, I love to see this happen. Heavenly orgasms. Language Obama-rama. Kids watch our channel too. I'd rather I kept quiet and wait for the next punishment. Bush and Biden are culprits already. I pray I do not lose this round so I can have a field day tomorrow. Or maybe field night, whatever, you get the point. Well, that doesn't eliminate the fact that you got silenced and rendered powerless. First, see if you can win against these animatronics so we can expect your clap back tomorrow night. So far, I think Trump has been doing great. Almost all the animatronics have found their way into the office, but he has somehow found a way to escape them and turn them away. That was what I wanted to mention about Freddy's head mask the other time. Wearing the mask immediately after seeing the animatronics can save you from their attack. All of them. And I see Donald has been doing that since he took over. Heaven knows I don't know shit. I have just been randomizing following the lore we discussed before now. I find Freddy's mask gross, but low-key pretty cool, which is why I have been using it repeatedly. And now I know its purpose, I will use it more. Ha 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 ha, how do you think, Donald? I really love to know. But yeah, it is fun, truly. Wearing and pulling it off almost immediately. Let me focus on doing that and hope it continues to scare the animatronics off. Uh, I don't think it always works like that. With time, they would discover you have been fooling them and attack even more aggressively. So you need to do it cautiously. Yeah, and that means trying as much to keep them away from the office. So you would only have to seek safety under the mask in rare cases. Moreover, Freddy's head consumes energy too. You don't want to risk losing at injury time. How is a mask using energy? This is the stupidest shit I ever heard. You both have mentioned the office multiple times. I thought you said the office had been replaced with a pizzeria or something like that. What changed? That is true, or you two have been playing with our heads all along. I think we made a mistake on night one, and I have been meaning to bring back the discussion. But focusing on the animatronics was enough work every other night. The office actually remains the office. The entire building is called the Pizzeria and is now where we are. So technically, the robots roam around the Pizzeria and our job as the Night Watch security guard is to ensure they do not get into the office of the Pizzeria. From the moment I wasn't sure if it was Pizzeria or Pretoria, I knew something was wrong. Finally, you said it correctly, thank God. So it is Pretoria? Fuck Fuck's sakes. sakes. I feel stupid right now for believing an old man already battling dementia. What else have you told us that is wrong? Everything else I said was correct, and Donald, remember, it is pizzeria for the final time. The lore of the game is indeed too comprehensive not to mix things up. I wonder how much the viewers must have made fun of us before now. That is even more reason to persevere and finish this game to know our reward.
Unlike the famous legend for teachers, don't worry, Biden, our reward isn't in heaven. Ha ha ha, okay, okay. I think that one right there is somewhat disrespectful to teachers who equally put their lives on the line to impact you, me, and even our kids so the world can be a better place. Obama-rama, by now you should have known students who gave their tutors a terrible time in class. Old Sleeping Joe is one of them. Have you not heard what your teachers said about you, you orange, ignorant person? Guys, just admit we all have been annoying to our teachers at some stage of our lives. Let's save this discussion for another day. Bushy is right. These guys deserve as much respect as even the president. Because, of course, without them, we cannot even be here playing this horror-themed game for our viewers on YouTube because we wouldn't even be presidents in the first place. But how did we move from the salary of the night watch of this place to talking about the teaching conditions in the United States? Joe Biden, you really are demented. I am speechless, Biden. Maybe you need to take some pills. Fucking hell, Chica in the room again. Good reminder, Donnie. Don't die now. You are doing super well. Phew, that is the reason I kept quiet this entire time. Damn it, that burnt fried chicken is back again. It's a bird, so fried bird. Well, it is all fair and good. Let's just keep our heads in the game and see it to the end. The next several minutes are very critical. See, the power caution sign from yesterday has been activated again, and your energy is at best zero. I cannot wait to get through this night. Well, Trump is getting us through. What a surprise. What about you send McDonald's to me and Baraki's house during the day? That would be amazing. What else do you expect from a glutton who doesn't know when to stop? What about some french fries as a side dish to the McDonald's? No one is ordering McDonald's unless we are doing a giveaway for some of our subscribers. So we better choose a better penalty. What about the losers going shirtless tomorrow? I love that one. Fast thinking, my personal harmless robot. No, 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 I cannot strip on live TV. Jill won't be cool with that. Well, it seems you have no choice because we just crossed to 6 a.m. Let's see what we get at the end. $100. And 50 cents. It's the same as FNAF 1. Are you saying wages stayed the fucking same? This is so rigged. It is still better than nothing, Donnie. Hmm. I am just thinking it will be terrible times tomorrow night. So we have it then. See you naked tomorrow, Biden and Bush. <laughs> Tonight is particularly exciting for me. Two of my favorite U.S. presidents will appear naked on live TV. Trumpy, isn't it too early to be a clueless moron? For the umpteenth time, it is YouTube, not a live TV. Secondly, seems you haven't switched on your video to check what's happening. Biden and Bushy are fully clothed. That is right, Donald John Trump. Don't you dare bring my middle name into the conversations again, but away from that, why the fuck are you guys not naked already? Ease your nerves, Donald. I have my reason, but somehow it's the same with Biden's. To hell with whatever reasons you might have. What the fuck is wrong with the two of you that makes you never want to adhere to rules and keep to agreement? Maybe we should hear them out first. There's really no point playing this game with you guys today if this is how you choose to flout rules flagrantly. It just doesn't make sense to me, and I wonder how it does to your bald heads. Well, I am sorry, but Jill wasn't just going to have any of it. That was my fear, and I mentioned that yesterday. Phew, that's it. Chica couldn't wait to take advantage of the pandemonium. <laughs> Screw you guys, I am going next. Fuck you and whatever Jill says. She could have prepped you better and maybe prevented you from snorting cocaine before playing so you wouldn't lose. You lost, and you are supposed to face the penalty graciously. I think Donald is right, to be honest. But then, reasonably Trumpy, I don't think it is that straightforward to throw the words of our wives into the bin. It doesn't always end well. Starting tonight with a heated atmosphere wouldn't do us any good. First, we have completely missed out on the phone man's message. Secondly, Trump has somehow lost. Honestly, we are leaving ourselves vulnerable to the already aggrieved animatronics. If I slap your badly shaped forehead, you will land into a coma immediately. Donald is really in this emotion. Maybe you need a minute to chill out. He is deservedly supposed to be very mad. In fact, the two of us are. But if I join in on the rage, this video might get too chaotic and unpleasant for our viewers. I swear this is the end of whatever punishment we have designed for this game. I am sorry, but not sorry. But somehow your wives wouldn't allow you to play without shirts. I would love you two oldies to apologize to me, Donald, uh, and the viewers for faltering. That shouldn't be too much, I think. Then after that, we can discuss the future of this game. Grumpy Trump just raised a valid point. Before then, Obama-rama, you will need to use Freddy's mask more tonight. It is almost impossible to keep the robots away. So disguising is the best bet to survive. Got that, thank you, Bushy Wushy, who loves to eat sushi. Ha ha. So when do we get to the part where you two cunts apologize, or is it until I send drone strikes to your respective homes before you respect yourself and do the needful? Well, I, Joe Biden, apologize to the viewers, Baraki and Ur, um, Donald, for not appearing in today's video without a shirt. It was due to circumstances beyond my control. I am sorry and promise to do better next time. Like Biden has said, I am equally sorry and promise to do better next time. I guess we are now on the same page. 
and can progress into the night proper now. Obama-rama with the brains of a JP, I love to see this. It is ironic that an advocate and promoter of war is currently soliciting peace. Like my first grandchild loves to say, there is absolutely nothing God cannot do. No one cares shit about your grandchild or whatever. It is just terrible to imagine how easy it was for you two to get off with this. I thought we were past this already, Donald, and yeah, fuck you, Bushy. You have no proof to support your allegations about me being a war promoter. Don't push it any further, Baraki. All your atrocities are in the public domain. Defending or trying to deny them would only make you appear more stupid. Just quit that agenda and let the FBI do their job. Before the FBI, I think there is more work for you tonight, Obama-rama. Three animatronics have gained access to the office since you began. I'm glad you could wear the mask very quickly before they attacked. You got away this time. Th that is true. But whatever happens, guys, it doesn't mean we are completely awful players. In fact, I don't think anyone can call us that. We have pulled through to the sixth night, and only determined and amazing players can do that. Tonight would be tough. So I want us all to brace for the maximum possible impact. I guess I am glad I failed quickly then. That doesn't mean I won't support you when possible anyway. We are in this together. Glad to see that Trump's head is gradually returning to the game tonight. It's not a good start, to be honest. Well, thanks to you patented criminals for failing to serve your penalties. Stop making me remember and just carry on like nothing happened. What the fuck? I guess Bush's predictions just came through. Truly, you weren't lucky against Bonnie. That motherfucker is most active tonight. Let's see how far Bushy Wushy can take us. Neither Baraki nor I went past 2 a.m. I pray my thoughts do not come to pass. But wait, away from your thoughts, Donald. I am curious. Why were you so pained you couldn't see me and Biden shirtless? Hmm, that is true. What was your bias? This is the third time I would ask respectfully that you two shouldn't make me remember what has happened, and let's just continue the game as though nothing is wrong. But it seems you two blockheads are unnecessarily adamant and love seeing me go berserk. Curiosity, man. Nothing other than that, really. With Bushy mentioning it, I think I am beginning to read more meaning to Trumpy's reaction. Are you saying Trump is attracted to the two of you and wants to lust after your bodies? Somebody just had to say it. I guess we now know who the real pervert is. Ha ha ha. Donald, are you denying any of this? What do you want to make of two old men with wrinkled bodies? It just isn't adding up to me. I have nothing to deny sleeping, Joe. Your conspiracies aren't only hilarious, but they are also the stupidest thing I've had to hear this year, and it's March already. Well, no one is homophobic here, so I guess it is a safe space for you, Donald. Obama, don't be an intentional jock. Okay, Lord Donald, we have heard you soundly clear, guys. I think the reason this night is unusually tough is because it wasn't actually planned. What are you talking about, Obama-rama? Listen, I promise I am not hallucinating. But think about it. Five nights at Freddy's means we are meant to play for just five nights. It points to one thing. Nights six and seven are afterthoughts. So we can safely say these animatronics are glitching because they aren't actually properly programmed like the first five nights. What did my ears just listen to? I am as surprised as you are. I mean, it's bullshit, but uh, kind of logical. How come I haven't thought of this in that direction since I have been playing this game? Ha 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 ha. Do you need some reminding that you don't actually think for yourself? Wait, why do you think we call you the puppet president? Seems you have been out of touch with reality lately. Actually, Baraki, it simply means we are working overtime. The night guard was originally hired to watch over the pizzeria for five nights, and that was why we received that reward after Donald helped us scale through the fifth night. However, the animatronics are still there and disturbing every night, so the Night Watch has to continue its work for two more nights, which is what birthed nights six and seven. I hope that makes sense to you. Hmm, so should we be expecting another reward after tonight? Well, maybe we should focus on winning first, then see what is in store for us. We have Bushy playing, so there is really nothing to worry about. Ha ha ha. Then you have definitely not been paying attention to the game. There is everything to worry about. Everything. You cannot be left to watch over ten kids and think there is nothing to worry about. Talk less of 10 brainless animatronics. Well, Bushy did not have a good track record recently, so... Arara! You jinxed it, Biden. I didn't mean to. What a coincidence. That's the third attempt tonight. I bet we are on our way to beating our record. Night 6 is just crazily difficult. Actually, we have 11 of them tonight. Withered Freddy, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Golden Freddy, The Balloon Boy, Mangle, and The Puppet. We have handled the withered versions and the toy versions before, but where is Golden Freddy coming from? Is this the first time I've heard that name? And why is Freddy the only one with that version? A lot of questions, man. It seems the more you know about the lore of this game, the more you realize you know nothing. 
Your life is at risk. You do not get to see your family during the night. You can die at any time because you cannot protect yourself from robots whose programmers cannot even handle them anymore. The developers don't even care about you besides the money they pay after the task. You have just a fucking mask to protect your gloated head from attacks. Well, back 40 years ago, I believe 100 bucks for a week is a pretty decent salary though, isn't it? Can someone tell me why this bastard didn't quit and go back home to meet his wife? Is he not loved at home? Why the fuck did he agree to do overtime? And now put us in the dilemma of battling with robots that decided to grow even madder. I am just tired. Honestly, five nights should be five nights. I hope Biden's beginner's luck hasn't left him to rot because we need that shit badly tonight. If he loses, I am next. A completely fucked up cycle that might even continue. I have told you repeatedly, Donald, that I won those nights because I played pretty well and according to the strategies required to win those nights. I have played this game more than all of those shenanigans. Whatever, just get it done with. I wish I could too, at least to shut up naysayers and doubters like you forever. We are freaking adults almost nearing our graves, for goodness sake. I don't think anyone expects us to be gurus or pros as you guys are painting yourself. In the middle of all of these, I really do not know where to come in from. But with what I have seen so far in Joe's gameplay, I will suggest Trumpy gets ready too, because truly, we are in for a long night tonight. Stop being a prophet of doom, Obama-rama. The night is still young and heavily pregnant. Biden, what does the night is heavily pregnant actually mean? I swear I have never heard that before. I was about to say that too. Are you all just knowing that Biden is so slow and slimy that he just puts words that sound nice to him together and think they actually make complete sense? Why does slimy have a very different meaning to me? Trumpy, is it what I am thinking it is? I think this is the final straw that would break our backs. I present to you the pervert of the year, Joe Biden. I am surprised old Joe translates Trumpy's words sexually. I wasn't even thinking in that direction at all. I bet Joe is having a boner at the moment. I feel so bad for Bonnie the Bonnie right now. Okay, okay, Donald, that is getting too far. Let's not miss the point. Whatever the point it is, Joe Biden is the clown who doesn't even know what he is saying or doing, but somehow makes people believe he is making sense. Donnie, you get what I mean. So sit and watch the pro get the job done. Sadly, you are absolutely getting nothing done this time. Bonnie is inside the office already. You shouldn't have removed the mask. No, 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 my hands really slipped off. Ha, 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 ha. Too early to have boasted Biden. Well, welcome to the group of losers tonight. The cycle is back to you, Donald. I wonder what I'm supposed to do this time. Donald, you can actually do better than us tonight. You didn't have a fair chance to play earlier when we began because you were furious that I and Biden weren't shirtless. So maybe a cooler head and a calmer spirit this time could give you an edge. What do you think? What a good head start, but I would say let's just see as it goes. Perhaps this is when we need that teamwork we have always discussed the most. These animatronics seem to be deadlier tonight than we think. Obama-rama, what record have we broken tonight? Because I am sure this repeat cycle definitely has us reaching damning heights we haven't reached on this channel. Haha, <laughs> sure. We haven't gone around twice ever in the history of Five Nights at Freddy's on this channel. I reckon we are still better than the majority of pussies who never had the balls to play this game. And consider we are old men playing this. We are doing quite well. Don't miss the point, Bushy. This is freaking embarrassing losing all these times. And these robots seem to be everywhere tonight. I can barely switch between the cameras before I see another moving. Our greatest worry tonight is that naughty Golden Freddy. He seems to be so active as though he wants to make up for all the nights he has missed. That sounds very familiar. Maybe something around you, Joe Biden, playing the game with your grandkids to make up for the time you deprived their parents of when they were kids. Listen, I'm not gonna stoop to your level of childish insults and personal attacks. I've got enough on my mind with my grandkids and trying to make up for their lost time. There are lines we should cross regardless of our vendetta. I think this one right here is one of them. That is cliche from you already, Obama-rama, and I am sure by now you must know Donald's response already. All is fair in love and war. You can talk all you want, but I promise you, knowing Golden Freddy is your greatest enemy is the first step to actually winning tonight. After knowing this, you need to devise the best strategy to keep him away. Most of these other 10 animatronics model the Cunny Robots movement, so it kind of makes it easier. How come you know about tonight this much, but you couldn't go past 2 a.m. when it was your turn to play? I told you Biden is an imposter. It is not hard to see, I promise. I don't think this is about being an imposter or something. The truth is the spectators are the best football players while in the stands. But when they get the chance to come play, they fail woefully. Similarly, it is hard for a footballer to see his mistakes while playing. First, it was Biden who became surprisingly intelligent. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? Uh? I thought that was me. Anyway, maybe you are next. Ha 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 ha. Never. Not with this godforsaken fuck. These bastards didn't even allow me to complete my statement. That is what happens when you fail to concentrate 100%. I warned you about Golden Freddy. But it wasn't Golden Freddy that attacked him. It was Foxy. Even I know. 
See, there are a lot, really, and I don't think anyone could actually identify them easily, especially not with the level of fear we are playing with. Why is it you saying this, Obama-rama and not Joe Biden? I know what I could have replied with. It shows that you are just a hater who likes to pick on me. Using your words against you, the world can now see you for who you are. But back to all seriousness, the farthest we have gone tonight is 3 a.m. What are we doing wrong? We should be asking you and Biden and not you asking us. You asking only leaves us helpless. Trumpy is really struggling, but he hasn't been too bad. If his energy ratings don't fail, I hope he gets past this animatronics tonight. Why am I less worried about the energy? Do you see these animals or robots or whatever? I wonder how you guys claim they become very friendly and even entertain this same restaurant with their dances during the day. Truly, what kind of glitch happens to them at night that makes them so disgruntled and uncontrollable? My own question is, how come these animatronics haven't destroyed any of the cameras yet, or are they only triggered by humans? Bunch of questions with no one to answer them, but I like Bushy's question. This is a question that I never came across when studying the lore. Forget the theory, Joe. It's not the best time. <laughs> no, Trumpy. Hmm, one minute away and see what these robots have done. 3 a.m. again. At this point, I swear anyone who makes it past 3 a.m. would win the night. It is obvious that 3 a.m. is the deadliest hour. Bushy's optimism is breaking the roof. He is obviously more invested than every one of us. Don't be adult. Because we lose shamelessly doesn't mean we aren't as invested too. I didn't say we aren't invested. I only mentioned that he is more than we are. Is that too hard for you to comprehend or has the robot's attack affected your brain too? Obama, maybe you should concentrate for a minute and get us out of this dilemma. We have begun another complete cycle. Make it end on you. I hope it is that easy. I really hope, Joe. I was wondering if it is possible to wear the Freddy's head throughout the night. I mean, that way, it is much easier to escape them even when they manage to enter the office. I really wish that were possible. The energy would suffer tremendously from it. I doubt it would last us past 1 a.m. before we run out of power. If we are being honest, does anyone actually think we can scale through tonight? If it is very easy, no one would find the game intriguing. I am a perfect example. The challenges I faced in the first part made me learn more about the lore of the game and in turn get better than I was the last time. I guess it is all a part of the developer's plan. I am asking because another animatronics just got into the office. I cannot even identify what it looks like yet. I saw it too. I think that it- Jesus Christ on a motorbike. When can we ever finish this night? We are back again at 3 a.m. Let me try and finish this one thriftily. Joe, we only have you and Bushy saving us for tonight. My heart has had enough of being scared by these robots. Joe has enough power to save us for real. I think someone has came into the office already. You're done for Joe. Damn it, it's Golden Freddy on <laughs> Okay, okay, this is the height of it. Let's just shut down and go to bed. There is no winning for us tonight. Well, let me try the final luck then and see where to go from there. Bushy, don't forget the mask, the torch lights in the hallway, and the monitor. Take control of these and we will definitely get past tonight. This is the ninth round, I guess, yeah? You are still counting? I lost count already, like two rounds earlier. I will focus more on Golden Freddy until 2 a.m. Watching Baraki play earlier, I think he gets less active after 2 a.m. Are you sure? I literally died at 3 a.m. just then, Bushy. Were you not paying attention? These two supposed masters are confused. Why can't we just apologize to the viewers for disappointing them, then just give up and focus on less scary games that we actually know how to play best? On second thought, Obama-rama. We didn't get this far to give up. Let's get behind Bushy Wushy and get this shit done with. This useless caution sign is blinking again. I hope Bushy isn't about to be attacked. If he is, then I really don't know what to say. Bonnie is in the office, so the sign is blinking because I am in total danger, but he's gone anyway. I distracted him with the mask. I hope we continue to get lucky. That's my prayer too, because it seems luck is a significant factor in this game as we continue to progress into the nights. Time and time again, strategy has failed. Who also saw that? Ha ha! Saw what? See, I have been wanting to ask, what is this music box? It wasn't there earlier. Wait, you mean you don't know what it means for six nights? Common, I know it myself. Obama is unbelievable. Trumpy, you were ignorant at some point, too. In fact, compared to the two of us, Biden, he is still very ignorant of the lore of the game. He shouldn't be the one making mockery of Obama. Come on, guys, this one is easier to get. Obama-rama, the wind box is as important as the mask, although it works mostly for the puppet. If you do not wind it back up in time, the puppet will attack. And once it does, it is impossible to stop it. Wait, that was what it meant? What else was in your head, grumpy Trump? I thought endlessly winding it makes the background music continue. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. You are such a meme, Donald. I would rather not say a word. It would be too messy, I promise. Okay, that was really hilarious, very. But away from that, gentlemen, we are now almost at 5 a.m., just about one more hour to get past our worst nightmare since the start of Five Nights at Freddy's. We are focusing too much on these robots that we seem to have turned our attention away from the energy ratings. One bar is left and the caution power sign is blinking already. We should get through if none of the animatronics attack. Bushy has been conservative with power since he began. 
I trust now shouldn't be a problem. It's almost 6 a.m. I'm basically at the edge of my seat. We are too close to fail now. You are mounting excessive pressure, guys. Let's chill out and continue to play by the rules. We have less than 30 minutes left. We should scale through. Golden Freddy, Chica, and Bonnie are all in this office. Bushy, do not remove that mask until the power goes off. That's literally our last lifesaver left. Man, I did already, and trust me, I am panting my heart out right now, but I've got this, trust me. Freddy is back outside, but Bonnie is still here, though. I think one of the toys just joined in. This is really chaotic. It's like someone pressing our necks and stifling our life out. Who? I would rather keep quiet and look at what our fate turns out to be. This is too tense for me to handle. They are gone, and I am literally out of power now. This hour is taking forever. I think the last hour is like double. Developers are glitching the game on purpose. Easy, guys. We scaled already. Oof, that was so close. I almost gave up. Phew. Finally, but now I'm wondering what Night 7 would look like. I wish we'd never know. Wow, and now Freddy Fazbear is closing. What is wrong with the business owners? This night took nine human lives and the one who survived only made 20 bucks. And 10 cents, don't forget that. Sure, whatever, Biden, but we could be treated better. So is there no rewards and appreciation for me winning the night? I mean, I am so tired now. Yeah, same here. See you not tomorrow. Gentlemen, welcome to the seventh and final night in Freddy's house of horror and doom. I feel so refreshed to be back here after that tumultuous turn of events last night. Aren't these statements too much for an introduction? Shut up, you cocaine-sniffing puppet who only knows the lore of the game but cannot actually win a night for us. Thanks to Bushy, we might still have been stuck on the second night. Thinking about it now, I think these animatronics are named or designed after us. We have Freddy, who we can easily mistake for Donald. Now we have the puppet, which is basically a representation of Biden. Then that hunger-looking fried chicken chica with thin necks looks just like you, yeah? Both of you are stupid idiots. This game was developed well before we even thought of becoming the President of the United States. No one cares shit about who we are when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's. Why has Bushy not spoken a word since this game began? I am sure he is here with us on this call. Otherwise, the game might have crashed again. I am focused on what really matters, the game. We cannot afford to start on the wrong foot this time. It's the final night, and I am pretty sure no one wants a circus this time. In Bushy, we believe. Ha 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 ha. Win the game for us, man, and let's round off in the most gallant way possible. Speaking of gallantly, last night was really tough. We all forgot to contemplate the punishments or rewards thingy. I completely forgot, so what are we saying? What were we expecting? It's typical for you to forget things, so do not act as though this is new. Does this conversation actually hold any water at this moment? This is the final night, so to what end is it? Bushy had a point. Moreover, I am not doing shit like that with you guys anymore. It's obvious you wouldn't be obedient to the rules. There is no point. Uh, it is barely 1 a.m., but I have counted four different animatronics in the office already. It's about to be a long one tonight. Wait. Can these robots smell? Maybe they are attracted by human smell or something because I see no reason why they suddenly don't feel like roaming elsewhere in the pizzeria but the office. They were created to kill and to destroy except during the day, of course, when they are a thing of entertainment. Such confused souls. I wonder what the original scenes actually look like. Bushy is out. How did we not see Chica? You now have more perspective of how random and surprising the animatronics can be tonight. Good luck. That sounded like a schoolmaster giving his A-level students the last words before their final exam. How do you read meaning to even the minutest things deserves to be studied? Oh my goodness. Stop playing, Bushy. Everything about me deserves to be studied. Do you know what it means to be called Donald Trump? I guess you may never know. Leave Trumpy with the unfounded gloating and let's focus on the game. You should do the focusing while we do the watching. Let's see how far that will take us. You know, there is something hilarious about tonight. I think the Night Watch has the same thought as Donald. He quit on night six. He apparently could no longer take the heat and threw in the towel. So why are we still playing? The person we are modeling is gone. Why are we still here? Ha 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 ha. Of course, another security has been hired, Fritz Smith. I bet this guy didn't know what he was up against when he took the job. No one deserves the mental and physical stress these animatronics can cause. This is the third guard we are modeling. We may even model more because no single human can actually handle these animatronics until the end of the fourth part. Shit, that's true. There is a third and fourth part. I completely forgot and thought we were fully done with Five Nights at Freddy's after tonight. Ha 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 ha. Brace for more impact, Trumpy. We have two more episodes with seven nights each. There is really real work ahead of us all, but of course, one night at a time. Cheers! I didn't see that coming. Joe Biden is out too. Trump, guess you are next. Stop the name calling, Obama. It creates even more pressure. And I have said this repeatedly, you only choose to be an unrepentant dickhead. Golden Freddy, Chica, and Bonnie stepped in almost at the same time. That Freddy's head really saved the day for Donald. 
In that case, Donald, can you continue wearing the mask whenever you aren't checking the monitor? About that monitor, I thought you said the animatronics can snatch them. That is why speed is another important factor in the game. You just need to be faster than the animatronics' movements. Strategies, luck, speed, what else do we need? None of these abstract nouns are as important as guns loaded with bullets. Maybe this could even be a way for the developers to make more money from Five Nights at Freddy's. In-app purchases that allow players to purchase bullets or something makes it all fun. Donald, I think you need to understand that we are following a real event. This is very similar to adapting a novel into a movie. You would want to maintain the storyline and not tweak too many details. Then maybe we should address the gullibility of the original character. I mean, why would you agree to watch over these criminals in electrified suits without any firepower? I would gladly offload rounds of magazines once I sight any of them. Again, you need to understand that these robots suddenly get normal during the day and aid the swift running of the pizzeria. Destroying them may have a ripple effect and ultimately destroy the restaurant too. I think that is where diplomacy comes in. So yeah, if we think it through, the developers and the original Nightwatch character aren't entirely gullible, but maybe something more than just cameras, a monitor, and uh, mocking headgear would have been better. Trump has magically warded off Bonnie, Golden Freddy, and Toy Chica so far. It is almost 2 a.m., and we might end this game anytime soon if this prowess continues. Who else also noticed that the phone guy didn't call tonight? Yeah, he isn't active on night seven. In fact, tonight is the only night in the game that the phone guy doesn't call to share his nuggets and maybe important modifications we need to know. I swear I could have thought that he got mad at us for not always granting him listening ears and decided not to check in anymore. That is really hilarious. It's not as though he knows us by name or something. This guy is a program motherfucker just like these robots too. The randomness is what makes it thrilling after all. 2 a.m. already. We can do this, Donald. Why are you screaming? All of them are appearing at the... <laughs> Obama, thanks so much for jinxing me. I see you struggling already, too. Just try wearing Freddy's head for a longer period so this hour can pass over you. Apparently, Donald is the biblical Jesus and no cup can pass over him. It is Toy Bonnie this time. Trump is out, too. I saw what you did there. That was some sleek play on words in this scary state. Another conspiracy, but this is more than obvious. Donald has been the prophet of doom since the start of this night. Man literally announced Bushy's loss, Biden's, and now mine. I don't know what this means at the moment, but it is beyond coincidental. Uh, stop sounding like a broken record already. If not anything, it only shows that I have been attentive to the gameplay tonight. Or maybe Obama Rama is training to become a commentator for Five Nights at Freddy's. Ha 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 ha. That one right there is super hilarious. The way we all find cracks to make jokes out of this messed up situation deserves accolades. This minute we are all scared to our panties and the next minute Baraki or Trumpy is here cracking our ribs until they hurt. Maybe that is why these animatronics got angrier. They feel we do not take them seriously or something. Nah, this is so effortless now. Don't lose focus on the gameplay anyway. That's why we are out tonight. Like these guys aren't leaving any breathing space. I now see why our representation inside the game is always panting. If it were live, I would also be practically out of breath. Nah, don't try to compare yourself. You cannot pursue a snail in real life without running out of breath. How do you plan to carry the burden on your neck and the one tied to your waist? Here we go again. Is that body shaming I see ahead? This isn't even a bother to me at all. I am just cocksure that I heard Jill perfectly when she said she couldn't wait to have me for one more night. That's enough consolation for me. Jill cannot stand body odor one bit, Donald. I do not see the both of you in the same space for five minutes without Jill emptying her intestines out. Try another clapback, moron. This one obviously isn't working. It's gonna be GG to me too. <laughs> Withered Bonnie wasn't gentle one bit. Gradually we are en route, beating our last record again. We are on another cycle tonight. Big question now is, who would break it? We can only keep our heads up and continue to fight. This is the final night. We cannot afford to go down without a thorough fight. At some point, we might eventually tell ourselves the truth that we have actually been riding on pure luck up to this point, and none of the game's lore knowledge is working. Uh, I wonder what the viewers are thinking about us in the comments right now. We need to be calmer. I think our fidgety state is making us miss out on some very minute details, making us vulnerable to these robots. More importantly, let's speak one at a time. It would reduce how distracted we are. Okay, let's do this. The mask too, Bushy. Don't forget, I cannot wait to see you beat the game again this time. I would gladly hand over the most valuable player award to you, Bushy. Just do this for us. Don't worry, guys. I would avenge all your inabilities and achieve what you all couldn't. Using our communal inabilities to take a swipe at us is bottom barrel low. It doesn't speak well of your class. Well, now it appears you have none. Whatever you wish, man. Just get the shit done and over with. Well, it isn't as chaotic as last night. 
I mean, that is something we should be glad about. If Bushy doesn't eventually close the game tonight, I swear I would feed his waggling tongues to my dogs and check if his brain is good enough for my cat. Something around that. You are super gross, Trump. How about I put you on my barbecue grill and feed it to my farm animals? That would be great, right? Just keep winding the music box. The puppet is around the corner. I am winding. This thing just seems harder to do tonight. It unwinds faster than usual. Did you notice it when you played earlier too? Wait, Biden, are you a magician now or what? There are no traces or indications of the puppet in this office. I have focused keenly on the monitor for the past half an hour. So how did you know? Biden is secretly glitching this game. It's just intuition, Obama and Trump. Let's leave it at that. Actually, tonight, winding the music box doesn't only work for the puppet. It also keeps withered Chica, withered Freddy, and withered Bonnie away, especially if you combine winding the music box with flashing flashlights. Too many talks until you lose concentration. Nah, I will be the one to clean our mess. I hope it isn't bigger than what I can handle. Stop this tomfoolery, Bushy. You are literally touring the same path Joe Biden plied and failed. You failed your first attempt tonight, too. So stop making it look like you are just getting a chance to correct our wrongs. We have all been here in this mess together. Donald is back in his emotions. Man, these guys are messing with our heads, man. They make it look like we are completely dumb and cannot get shit right ourselves, except they do. But we have all been attacked by these animatronics at least once. He should wrap it up already and let's peacefully retire into the night. Bushy, I guess it should be easier now. You have the withered animatronics on lock in the hallways and the office is somewhat of a safe place thanks to Freddie Fazbear's head. If Donald continues with this anger, he might explode like an overblown balloon and mess up the entire room. Can you forget the side talks for a minute and focus on the game already? None of those distractions can actually win us the game. Leave him and let him make his point. Melania isn't home tonight, so there is basically no one to complain about me not coming to bed early. Carry on, Bushy. I won't roll in the mud with you. Just get yourself together and be prepared to accept that I am winning this game for you guys. I said it repeatedly in the last two nights. Why would I compete with you two for who the better player is? You have been playing with kids for several years. You probably have played this particular night more than twice. I literally just learned about five nights at Freddy's when we began playing on this channel. So, like I said earlier, wrap it up already. That must be for Biden, definitely not me. Well, at this point, I think Bushy has been truly magical so far. He has scaled past the deadly 3 p.m. mark. The next two hours are more critical now. 3 a.m. Biden. I love how we turn into accidental analysts once we aren't the ones playing and then become confused when we eventually get the game pad. Well, that is life explained in a few seconds. We talked about that earlier, I think. I didn't expect Freddy right now. You really got lucky right there. You could have been humbled. Actually, the only thorn in my flesh tonight is Golden Freddy. I still suffer from PTSD from the last time, but surprisingly, he hasn't been eventful since I began to play. Maybe he is waiting for the right time to attack. I'm just saying anyway, but I hope he never gets active until we scale through 6 a.m. I have never really hoped and prayed for daybreak as much as I have since I began to play this game. The intensity is just insane. Again, we should question the developers that marked it safe for kids plus adults like Joe Biden who actually play with these kids and encourage them to play it more. Yes, I enjoy the lore of the game and find the creativity behind the whole concept somewhat fascinating, but I don't think I can leave my kids to play the game alone. It can mess up their mental health for years. I cannot say the same. I have played and still play with my grandkids. It doesn't do as much damage as you think anyway but I understand your fear and bias. I hate to say it, but Bushy signing off tonight victoriously would eventually boomerang. He has been relatively quiet since we began part two of the game, maybe because of how poor in the first part of the game. But with this, now we have unleashed his inner egoistic alter ego. Stop being an unrepentant hater. There's still time to join the winning party anyway. Uh, surprisingly, the animatronics haven't done so much in these final minutes. From last night's experience, I felt they would be even more active tonight. Maybe Biden has glitched the game to Bushy's favor again. It's something the dumbass can actually do, and I am sure we all know this. Wail endlessly while I get us the fuck out of here safely. I'm pretty sure you know what eventually happens to whalers. Congratulations to us all. I am so excited this drama is all over, and we can calm our heads for now at least until we get started with the third part. It was fun with you guys. Enjoyed every bit of it. More importantly, good show, Bushy. It was a great fight to win the game for us. Oh, look, we got fired because of Donald's odor. Everyone is giving closing speeches like we aren't actually going to ever meet again. Man, I know your respective houses. I can show up anytime, so what's the point? Five Nights at Freddy's Part 2 was the bomb. See you all on the other side.